Hey guys, so the day is finally here where you guys get to see Maddie's nursery and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. It has been a long work in progress. I started it so late because if you don't watch my videos, I had a roommate. My best friend Tara lived with us for almost three years and she didn't move out until late August and Maddie was born October 1st. So I had kind of a late start on it and then once she got here, I was like trying to finish everything up and so I'm really excited to finally share it with you guys. I feel like I have the majority of it pretty done. There is a few things that I'd like to change here and there, but that will come over time or maybe never because half the time things don't get done when they're supposed to. But anywho, I hope that you really enjoy it. I go through the video explaining where the majority of things are, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. So if you're interested in seeing Maddie's nursery tour, then just keep watching. Okay, here's the outside of her door, and on the front of it, she has this little sign that I got for the baby shower, or her baby shower. It says, a daughter is a gift sent from above to treasure and forever love. Really cute. I think they got that from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. And then when you open the door, here is her nursery. So it looks a little blue because of the sunlight coming in, and then because of the colors of her wall. But here's an overview. As I come in, I'll start with the left part of the room first. So first off, her furniture is from Babies R Us. It is the uh, Disney Princess collection, and it has multiple pieces in it, but the pieces that we have are the um, three Chester drawers here. We have the crib, and yeah, I think that's it because this piece is from uh, Rooms to Go. It is from the like grown-up, not grown-up girl, but like older girl Disney collection. Everything that I have in the room that is available online, I will post a link in the more info box below if you're curious uh, the price or you know the availability or if you're interested in it for your little girl. I did forget to mention, I'm sure you guys noticed, we have uh, a light pink color on this wall and on this wall and for the main wall we have a gray. I don't know the names of the paint colors if I can find them, I'll put them in the more info box below. Um, but yeah, those were her colors, pink and gray. That was the baby shower colors as well. And then I do have pops of hot pink here and here and then also in her closet on her drawers here. So like I said, here is her changing table. This is an option because the Cheshire drawers just comes by itself and then the changing table you can add on top. So over here I just have some essentials, some baby wipes. I really like the Huggies or the Pamper Sensitive. I have some lotion, bedtime lotion, Johnson's baby cream, some A&D baby powder, which I actually don't use on her just because I'm afraid of her inhaling it, um, a bulb, syringe bulb, some antibacterial, and some boogie wipes. We have a changing pad, which I got this one from, I think, Babies R Us, which is a pink cover on it. And then I always use like a receiving blanket to um, put down by her bottom in case she has an accident. I don't have to worry about washing this. This sign that says Madeline I got from Etsy. I will put the link to the seller down below. Uh, he customizes names and your colors and stuff like that. But it's really cute because it has her name and then it has a little shelf. And over here, these are some boxes that I got for the baby shower. It says first tooth, first curl, and first baby bracelet. This was a 4D picture. A sonogram of her. The frame is from Target, I believe. Um, this is from Disney World. My stepdad got that for her. It's really cute because the mini um, pulls her little pacifier and, and has a lullaby. This is her first little jewelry box. Her uh, diamond stud earrings that my stepdad got her for got her for Christmas are in there. And then this is her um, box, like her. I don't even know, like keepsake box that has her newborn pictures in it. It has her name, Madeline Grace 2013. It has uh, one picture on the back, one picture on the front, and then on the inside, I put all of her sonogram pictures, and then also the rest of her newborn pictures, which is some of them you guys saw. I posted them on Instagram, but 
there, there's that. And then as far as in the drawers, this I don't actually have clothes in because I have the entire closet mapped out how I want it. So right now she's in size two diapers. We're still using diapers that we had left over from the baby shower. So we have various brands. These are Pampers, the Swaddlers. I really like these, these are Loves. These are okay too, actually for being a cheaper diaper. I have some burp cloths in here, which I really like the long skinny ones and the ones from the hospital. And then I have a bunch of Huggies, um, Simple Care, and various different brands here, just like the jumbo packs, and I put them in this top drawer. The middle drawer has blankets, so you can see she has abundant um, an abundant amount of blankets. We literally do not need any more. She's got some fleece blankets. She's got the swaddle um, summer swaddle me blankies, the little ones that have the Velcro. Those are awesome. I have some that were made for her. These are all receiving blankets here, which I don't actually use them for swaddle blankets or receiving blankets. I use them for little changing pads just because they're easy to clean. And I have some personalized blankets here and then another little fuzzy blanket. And then the third drawer is kind of a miscellaneous drawer. I have some warmer blankets over here, some sh extra sheets, pack and play sheets. These clothes are actually my old clothes, which is really neat. My mom saved a bunch of my old clothes from 26 years ago and she saved them for if I ever had a daughter or my brother ever had a daughter. So yeah, there's various outfits in here that um, I wore as a baby that I plan on taking pictures with Maddie and I actually have some pictures from outfits that I already had. I'll post them here. And then I have her um, diaper genie refills and this is like tools, extra frames, like little stickers for the frames, stuff that I use to hang or just like, I don't know, little extra things that her toys came with. Here I have her diaper genie, which I highly recommend the diaper genie. I, I actually really like it. You just press this, you put the pamper in there and it's just... It's great, easy to follow. The refills are expensive and you do burn through them quickly, but it definitely contains the smell. And then here in the corner, I have a white wicker uh, basket or a hamper for her clothes. It has like a pink lining in it with her dirty clothes. And this is from Babies R Us. Up on the wall here, this came with my uh, bedding set for the crib or her bedding set for the crib. Um, these are like little pictures that have the baby Cinderella and the castle on them. And I just have them up there with this like velcro sticker because it was too hard to hang them with a nail so I have that and I like the way that they pop against the gray wall and then up top here which is like in the corner of her room right above her basket I have her pom-poms which I ordered all of these off of eBay I will put the seller down below really inexpensive they did take a little while because I think they came from China but um, really inexpensive and he has literally every color so I have a large hot pink one a large white one a large uh, like a, I don't know, coral pink, baby pink, a small white one, and two small gray ones. And I feel like it's not overwhelming for the room, but it definitely gives it that nice baby chic touch. And then here's her crib. So this crib actually, like I said, is from the Disney collect the Disney Princess collection at Babies R Us. It's a pretty popular little girl's crib, so I mean you can definitely find it at a Babies R Us for sure. Like I said, I'll have the link down below. But I fell in love with this crib mainly because of the canopy. So this is a convertible crib. You can turn it into a toddler bed and a full-size bed when she gets older. So I like that option. And then like I said, the canopy is really nice. But you actually do have the option of removing the canopy so you can just have the crib. I personally like it, but you don't have to have it if you don't want to. So it has pretty, really pretty bow detailing here, bow detailing on the back of the crib. And I, I just really like the way that it's set up. So yeah, I have that. And then my best friend, Bia, which you guys saw in uh, one of my beauty videos, she bought this bedding for me for uh, my baby shower. So, so it's, again, it's that same theme, the little uh, Cinderella princess bedding and it is also from Babies R Us. Pretty expensive, but if you use a coupon, you can get a good deal. So right now she doesn't sleep in her crib. Well, she only takes naps in her crib. So I don't mind leaving the bumpers on because I always have an eye on her when she's taking a nap. Oh, and this is one of her swaddle, one of her swaddle blankets. We absolutely love these blankets. These are amazing because she can't get out of the swaddle and it keeps her asleep longer. And then she's got the mobile, which is really cute. We actually bought the battery thing of this. So it goes by itself. It doesn't shut off. It just takes batteries. The one that it came with only would do like 
10, maybe 15 minutes at a time, and I noticed she wasn't falling asleep quick enough, and it would shut off and wake her up. So, yeah, that goes by itself, and then it has a stop button. It also came with this really pretty blanket. I This is a blanket that I personally wouldn't let her sleep with. For one, because it's really heavy, and it has extra pieces, and for two, it just, to me, looks more like decoration. But, yeah, it came with the princess sheets, and I think that's it. So I have a Hello Kitty, which my mom got that for me when I was in the hospital to have Maddie. That came from the gift shop, so I have that in her crib. I have a little baby pillow, which is actually my baby pillow that my mom never filled out. Because if you notice down here, it says uh, that she was born in 19. I, well, I was born in 86, but my mom didn't fill it out, so... I can't really fill it out, but I thought it was too cute because my mom has had it for so long. And then this is the Mommy Sleepy Bear that came from Target. It plays um, various music. You can actually put a, strap it on the crib, but I thought it was just a cute bear. And then this bear has her heartbeat in it. So this is we got this when we got our 4D sonogram. I showed that to you guys in a different video when I first got it. I think one of my pregnancy vlogs. But So I have those animals there. And right now she does roll over, but she doesn't move like to the other side. So when she takes a nap, her head's down here. So I never have a problem with the animals. Now, I'm we're fixing to move her over to sleep in her crib full time. So I definitely will be removing the bumpers and the animals from the crib. And the blanket for that matter. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this little, like, balance does come with the crib. It's, it, it comes when, when you buy it, it comes so you can put it on there. And you can also put whatever you want, but this comes with it. On the wall here, I have a picture that has, a picture frame that has three, I think they're, like, six by six pictures. These were actually her first, first newborn pictures. They're the ones that they come around and take in the hospital. So they turned out really good. I know a lot of people usually don't like the pictures that they take in the hospital, but I really didn't have any problems with them and I thought they were super cute and it just shows you how much she's changed because she looks nothing like that anymore. One of my family members got me that balloon from the hospital so that's on her crib and then we also have the Motorola um, camera system. We got that from Babies R Us and it works really good because you can talk to the baby and you can uh, turn on music from the camera and stuff like that. And then my best friend Bia got me this or Maddie this for her room. It has a little projector and various music and stuff like that. And you can also touch the leaf to turn it on. So it's more interactive when she gets a bit older. And I forgot to mention the rug. This is actually the same rug that Emmy has in her room. Emmy just has a dark pink one. This is a light pink one and I got it from Target. Back in the corner, Maddie got a ton of gifts for Christmas. And of course, she's not old enough to play with the majority of them yet. So I guess if you guys watch my beauty channel, you remember this from my... Uh, goodie box. It's just like a little roller basket from Target and then a bunch of her toys are in here so little um, like little computers, little cell phones, teething toys and stuff like that. So I just have them sitting in there while we're waiting for her to grow up. And then this wall is probably the only thing in the room that I don't know that I'm 100% satisfied with just quite yet. So if you follow my vlogs and you saw me get this from Garden Ridge which I actually just bought it with a little chip in it but honestly you can't even tell because it's in her room and in the corner you can't even see it so that picture is from Target and then all these frames these two frames are from Michaels this one and this one is from Target and this letter M is from Michaels and I just painted it the gray color that was her wall color and then put it in there so yeah like I said I don't know that I'm completely satisfied with it I wanted to go for a collage effect but I want to maybe throw some more colors in there, so if you guys have any ideas for this, let me know in the comments down below. And then down here, like I said, this little nightstand is from Rooms To Go in the children's section. It does, however, match very nicely with her crib set, but technically it does go to a different set. So it has that same bow. The little lamp is from uh, the Cinderella collection at Babies R Us, so that's really cute. I have the first sonogram that we ever got that found, I found out when I was pregnant. I think that was from February 19th, 2013, so that's framed. And then this is one of those My First Year frames. I don't have any of her pictures. This is a different baby. <laughs> but I do have um, some pictures here. This has like a rollout thing. And I have some pictures here that I just need to cut out and put in the frame. So this is really neat, like if you're breastfeeding, you can put a drink here and stuff like that. It's very accessible. And then down below, this is the one reason why I liked it, because it has such intricate detailing, uh, detail, and then it has this space down below where I could put one of these baskets. 
So this basket is from Babies Are Us, like everything that we've purchased is. Uh, these large clips are from Target, and the reason I have them in there is because I haven't decided if I want to use them or not, like to hang pictures. I just thought they were really cute and they match her decor perfectly. So I have those in there, and then down here there's another little drawer, and I have her stickers, her um, monthly stickers that you put on the onesie so she can take pictures. I have her first Bible, which my grandma got her. And then here I have um, the DVD from our sonogram and then the DVD copyrighted ones that came from her um, newborn photo shoot. So I have those in here in case she needs them in the future. And then over here I have this little light thing that's uh, solar powered or something so it does a projection up on the wall at night of princesses. She got that for Christmas. And then the matching trash can that goes with this basket and her uh, clothes hamper and that again is from Babies R Us. The valance on the top here, I know it's kind of hard to see because it's on the window, but that is from Babies R Us. It matches the Cinderella Baby Princess collection. And then the two sheer window um, curtains that I got are from Target, and it's the same ones that Emmy has in her room, and actually we have a set in our room as well. And then moving on over, this is her uh, glider, which actually, because I didn't get to breastfeed, for very long, I don't use it much anymore, and she sleeps through the night, so I can't I can't anticipate us using it once she's in her crib full time, but it is really cute decoration, and if you're breastfeeding, I think it definitely would be a good tool, and also, I don't rock her to sleep. She falls asleep on her own, so yeah, just decoration, but it is from Target White um, with the pink chair with white polka dots, really cute, and for the price, it was actually very sturdy. It held me no problems in the beginning when I was breastfeeding. I never had any issues with it. Very, very sturdy for the price. So this blanket, my stepdad got made for her, um, for Christmas, it has her name, her uh, birth date, her, the time she was born, her weight, her length, all of that. So that's really cute and like a nice keepsake. And yeah, it just has like little baby things on it. And then that Hello Kitty, my brother and sister-in-law got for me while I was in the hospital. This teddy bear, holiday bear, Maddie got for Christmas. And then this is one of the pillows I had in my makeup room that is from, I believe, Marshalls. I forgot to show you guys this picture over here. My mom got this for, one for Emmy and one for Maddie for Christmas. It says Madeline and it has different meanings of each letter of her name. So I thought that was really cute and I just got it framed and put it up on the wall. Now to my favorite part of the entire room. So if you guys have seen my makeup room tour from my old makeup room, if not I will link it down below, then you've seen what this closet actually looks like. It used to have double doors here, sliding doors, and it had just one shelf at the top with one long rack. So actually Andres did all of this and I found a video on YouTube on how to do it and I completely copied them because I thought it was such an amazing idea. So I will post that video down below because unfortunately it was trial and error for us so we did not post a video on how to you know, make a closet look like this. But like I said, the video to make your closet look like this will be posted down below. Pretty much what he did was just demolish the whole thing. He added a shelf on top here. He added two small shelves here. He cut the existing pole that was there in half and we bought another one to split it up into two. And then this centerpiece right here, the five drawers is from Ikea. I don't remember what it's called, but the link to it will be down below. And then these, these drawers are one set. So like this is a set this is a set, this is a set, and they're also from Ikea. So if you have a baby or you're going to have a baby or you plan on having a baby, I highly, highly recommend the way that the closet is laid out because I feel like because baby clothes are so tiny, it you need to have it split up like this. So instead of having to shove everything in a drawer, I love her closet. Love it. I wish we had done this to Emmy's closet when we first got her because it was an ordeal trying to make sure everything fit and putting stuff in drawers for her and so yeah I regret not doing it for her but now it's kind of too late because her clothes are getting bigger so now that I'm far away I'll just kind of explain to you what I have each section by and then I'll go up and show you a close-up so over here I have all of the current stuff she's wearing so I have pajamas over there long sleeve onesies short sleeve onesies long sleeve shirts short sleeve shirts and that's right now she's in like zero to three months three months she hasn't touched her three to six months stuff yet and she's almost four months so yeah that's the stuff she's currently wearing 
This stuff over here is future use, and then I have the little dividers. So I have three to six months, I don't know, maybe six to 12 months, 12 to 18 and 18 plus, something like that. And then down here I have all of her pajamas and then her winter jackets that are for future use. And then over here I have all of her onesies. So any onesie from three months to 18 and 24 months. Oh, and I have a gray plug in there, and I think passion flowers in there right now. So yeah, that was the end of Maddie's nursery tour. I know this was so super requested and so highly sought after video. I hope that it was worth the wait for you guys. If you have any suggestions, I love the way that it is right now, but if you have any suggestions, I'm completely open to them. Like, I would eventually like to put something on that wall and then something in this blank space right here, but I don't want it to look too overly crowded, so... Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have a nursery tour up in your channel, tell me in the comments down below so I can get some inspiration from you guys. And yeah, like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Maddie's sleeping, but she says, thanks for... Oh, there she goes. <laughs> thanks for watching my nursery tour.